All right, moving on to the edit menu, we're now going to take a look at undo, redo, repeat, which is kind of cool, undo all, and undo, redo history. This one's going to be a little out of sequence because it's actually in the next menu over, uh, the view menu, but we're going to take a look at it here because it uh, makes more sense here in context. So let's dig in. Okay, so we've got our good old ha jingle file open here. And um, I have, prior to um, this particular lesson, already done some stuff to the file. So let's take a look at what we've got here under the edit menu. So it basically gives you the basic commands that you have in pretty much any, you know, software program where you can undo and redo stuff. So the last thing that I applied to this file was a chorus. So I can just undo it by just clicking the file there, or I can redo it by just putting it back in this way by hitting the redo section. Now, I can also repeat effects. So for example, if I have an effect that I want to repeat in multiple places and I have, let's say, markers in a particular file and I want to jump to another spot and I'm going to repeat the exact same effect multiple times, they give you a really cool and easy way of doing that. So if I move the cursor, say, to a different location here on the file and I select that area, then when I go up here to the edit menu and I can repeat the um, previous applied effect, which in this case was the fl a flange wah-wah, and I just keep repeating it. And I can just, you know, keep selecting areas and keep repeating it over and over and over again until I'm, I'm happy with what I've got. So that's pretty much undo, you know, uh, redo and repeat. Now, um, before I... The, the bottom of this menu is the undo all, and it literally does what it says. Anything that I've done while I've had this file open, which is a whole bunch of different uh, filters and different kinds of fades and things that I've applied to it, if I go ahead and select this, it'll undo everything and take my file back to zero where it was when I first opened it up. It can be very useful if you're experimenting with stuff and you just get down a rabbit hole and you're like, you know, this really just sounds like crud and I wish I had my original file back. Well, okay, you know, don't worry about having to re-step through all your stuff. You can undo it right here. And it's a really nice way of being able to do that. The last thing I'm going to show you here is under the view menu, and again, like I say, this is a little out of sequence, but I'm jumping ahead, is an undo redo history choice. And you can do alt plus seven, you can do alt plus the number seven. This is a really cool feature. It pulls up an undo redo history. So, and you can actually see it in real time. So if I undo something, it now puts it down in the redo section. If I undo something else, it drops that down in there. And it keeps a running history of what's going on. I can also see how the file was at any particular moment because I can play the file based upon this little play button here. And it'll play just the section that has been affected. So it's very cool. You can, you can also take things from here and, and it's, it's good to be able to see the history because you can see exactly what went on with the file when it went on with the file, and you can keep this open, and it updates dynamically. So if I if I come in and do a new effect here, let's just do something uh, funky, like I'll throw a, just a, a, a delay on here. All of a sudden, there it is. There's my delay. So I can now undo that if I want to, and I can undo that, and I can undo that. So, I mean, it gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of what you can do with um, and being able to see the history of what you've been working on with the file. Now, if I go back up here at this point in time and do undo all, voila, my file's back to the way it originally was before um, I did any editing or did anything to it at all. And it'll basically just play the whole file. And, and none of the effects, none of the stuff that I've done, none of the you know flanges or anything at all is there on the file. It's basically back to the way it was when I first opened it up. So that kind of covers all of the undo and redos and all the various ways you can see it and be able to use it.